Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and welcome to episode 1 of a brand new Let's Play series on the Direwolf20 mod pack for Minecraft version 1.20. Brand new mod pack, brand new Minecraft version, I'm very excited to be playing Minecraft 1.20. Dire 20 mod pack 1.20 it feels like a good connection to me i don't know why uh but i'm super hyped for this mod pack we have 298 mods as of this moment and probably gonna have a few more in the future uh the mod pack's been in testing for a while actually as of this recording it's still in testing uh but you know i like to have a few videos in advance so i'm recording them on the beta version uh the the pack should be out within the next day or two as of the time this video releases uh, so if it's not out now on the FTB launcher, it'll probably be out tomorrow or the next day. Uh, so you'll just have to wait for an extra day or two, but you get to enjoy uh, an episode or two on the new pack. Uh, so super hyped for this new mod pack because there is a ton of cool mods in it. Um, a bunch of our favorites that are always there, a bunch of new ones that are really cool looking that I'm looking forward to trying out. Uh, some very simple, some very complex. A couple of old favorites that haven't been around in a while. I'm looking at you, Ender.io. Uh, spoiler alert. <laughs> uh, and all kinds of other cool stuff. Um, yeah, so I'm like, I'm really hyped about 1.20, guys. I can't even tell you. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump in and check it out. Like I said, uh, it's it's not, it may not be publicly available right now, but if it's not, it should be in the next day or two. So just keep an eye on the FTB launcher. Uh, but let's get into starting the Let's Play series. Uh, so I'm going to create a Let's Play world. And we're going to do difficulty hard, definitely on survival, no cheats. Uh, and we'll do DW20, LP20, version 1.20, uh, because we like the number 20 and it's all over the place in this one. So yeah, that'll be it. DW20, LP20, V120. That's, that's, that's what we're doing. So let's create a new world, get it started up, and then we'll come back and do the standard uh, punching trees and finding a cave to live in for a few days. And then also talk about all the mods that are in the pack. All right, we're here. Uh, loaded up, ready to roll. Check this out. Cool. Have to be Chunks Claim Manager and Map. Sweet. Oh, man, look at that thing. What is that? That is, uh, that is way up in the sky there. That's something we're going to have to explore at some point in the future. I think we've been on those before. I forget which mod adds those, but that's definitely a cool looking thing. Uh, very nice little biome we've got here. What is this stuff? What is this? Orum log from Forbidden Arcanus. Okay, cool. That's one of the mods that's in the pack. Ant Soldier. Oh yeah. Can't wait to talk about that. Ant's Portation. Very cool. Nice to know that there's ants nearby because that's one of the new mods I also was on to talk about. That's nifty. That is nifty. Okay, so uh, let's let's do our standard thing. So we've got, uh, oh, we've got the Eccentric Tome, which has like all the books. Sweet. Uh, and then also we've got the Encyclopedia, which we'll talk about in a bit. So let's uh, let's let's do the standard start, right? Like we got to punch punch some trees because that's how you start Minecraft, even in modded. Uh, that's kind of the best way to get going. I'm going to um, talk about because you guys know what I'm doing right now. Uh, the the different mods that are in the pack, and I'm very excited because there's there's so many cool ones, and I want you guys to. Uh, tell me what you think about the mod pack list that I'm going to go through here and tell you all about in the comments. Make sure to uh, tell me if you're like, if there's any particular mod that stands out that makes you be like, oh, dude, I can't wait. So let's go through that list right now. I think I'm going to do this different. Normally, I just kind of read alphabetically which mods are in the pack. Uh, should I do it that way or should I break it down by type? Uh, I, th I think I'll probably do the, the standard alphabetical approach, maybe, or, or maybe a little bit by type. Um, it's tricky because I don't want to miss any. I don't want to miss any because it would be easy to miss some if I, if, I, if I just break it down by type. But we'll see. We'll see. Let's find a place to call home first. While, uh, let's see, I want to head probably northeast. I always like plains biomes, so we'll head that way. Very cool. Oh man, there's a there's a little world gem structure there that we're gonna have to check out soon. That's looking good. I should also keep an eye out for some uh, potential food. Ooh, ant hills. Nice. That's cool. I like that ant hill. We're gonna we're gonna check that out. Oh, speaking of food, hello potential food. I'm just gonna pop right down here. And do do some stone mining just so we can get stone tools like i'll get a full suite of stone tools and then we can be good to go for finding a place to live for a few minutes 
So what kind of cool mods are in the pack? Uh, let's go through the list. Hang on, I'm going to bring it up. Uh, so let's see. Uh, starting, I guess, alphabetically, Ad Astra. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with Ad Astra, that's the that's the rocket ship mod that lets you go to different planets. So that'll be that'll be something we'll probably visit later on in the future. Um, that's a good one for sure. Here we go. Cool, cool, and cool. All right. So you, you, you. And you. That looks like a good start, right? Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Uh, we've got, uh, let's see, Advanced Peripherals, which I think is an add-on for Computer Craft, which means Computer Craft is in the pack. Uh, advanced Generators. I don't know if you guys remember that mod. That is the one that lets you do basically like multi-block generators. Sorry, cows, but I'm going to need some food to get started in this world. And cows are good food. Uh, we've got Applied Energistics 2, uh, of course. Um, you know what, I might change it up and just kind of go through the list in, in a different way. Let's, let's go through it this way. Let's talk about, yeah, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Oh man, look at this cool biome. I love Plains biomes, it's the best. And right next to like a nice forest, that's cool. All kinds of good stuff nearby. Yeah, let's go find, let's go find like a nice hole in the wall type place. This feels like a good place right here. You can tell I'm just very excited about starting up this mod pack. Yeah, let's clear this area out for a sec. Uh, cool. So Applied Energistics 2 we talked about, and there's a couple add-ons like AE2 things and that kind of stuff, uh, which is cool. So let's do one, two, three, one, two, three. That's not too shabby. I'll cover that up a little bit. Okay. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, that should be a good start. Hey, I'm pretty sure there's a hammers. Can we get like a nice stone hammer? Yeah. Oh, it needs smooth stone though. Okay, I can probably get that going real quick. Or not smooth stone, but stone stone. You know what, let's get uh, some, some charcoal cooking. And that could be cool. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Let me smelt this up. I want to get some stone so I can clear out this house, and then we'll come back and talk about stuff and things. All right, and I figured while I'm at it, might as well cook some food. Sweet. Let's try out these stone hammers from the Just Hammers mod. Oh, that should make things a lot easier, right? Oh, I like that. Oh, and it breaks. Oh, and it breaks. Oh, I like that a lot. It breaks the... Ah, that's cool. It even breaks the dirt. Oh, that's nice. That is super nice. Just hammers, thank you very much. That's cool. All right, so let's uh, let's keep talking about what mods are in this pack because, like I said, there's a ton that we have to get to. I'm just enjoying playing with new toys because, like I said, there's a lot of new toys. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make sure that we have a relatively safe-ish place to live temporarily uh, until such time as we have a proper base up and running. And by proper base, I mean nine by nine because that's how we roll. That's not terrible, right? Yeah, that looks pretty good actually. Not bad at all. A little bit of food, a couple torches, couldn't hurt nothing. Beautiful. And then we can bring this stuff inside. You know what I'm seeing on the map? You know what I'm seeing right now on the map? Uh, let's see, I think I usually throw you here and you there, and that should be cool. I see a couple sheep that I could use for a bed. I think they're off in this direction. So while we're running over there, let's talk more about what mods are in the pack. So we talked about A2. Uh, the Aether mod, remember the Aether mod? Yeah, the Aether mod is back. Uh, so we'll have an Aether dimension to go explore and check out. That's pretty exciting in my opinion. There we go. A little bit more food too. Um, 
There's, uh, let's see, Angel Block is in the pack, which is just a one-off Angel Block mod. There's also an Angel Ring. Antsportation. We talked about that briefly because we saw some ants in the world. Let's talk a little bit more about what that might be. Uh, Antsportation, I don't know, but it looks cool and it sounds cool. Based on the name, I'm assuming it has something to do with ants and transportation. That would be it. Uh, I know there's, uh, there's a whole book around it and it's in my inventory already even. So yeah, all kinds of cool stuff about ants and there's uh, queen ants and soldier ants and worker ants and I assume that they will be doing things. We'll find out uh, as we play through the pack some more because that's definitely, I've always been a fan of like entities doing things even though it's not always great for uh, performance but if you're in a single player world, performance is a little less uh, of an issue usually, uh, at least somewhat usually. So not too worried about that and excited to try it out. All right, not a bad hole in the wall. And definitely happened pretty quickly. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. Sweet. Uh, and then I guess while we're at it, we could have like a quick chest here for some miscellaneous junk collecting. We'll start, we'll start storing some things like you. Uh, and you know what I might want to do is I'm going to use you as fuel. How many items can you smell? Door? I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, so we talked about, uh, Anspiration, Apotheosis in the pack. Uh, if you're not familiar with Apotheosis, that is the mod that has, like, the crazy enchants, like Sharpness 10 and all that stuff. Uh, so Apotheosis being in the pack is gonna be cool. Super overpowered enchants is always fun. Uh, let's see, Applied Energistics 2 we mentioned, Architecture, which I think is a fun one. Uh, let's see, Architecture, is that the one... That might be a that might be a back end mod. Uh, Ars Nouveau is in the pack though. Uh, one of my favorite magic mods. I've always been a fan of magic mods, even though ironically, and I don't understand this, a lot of the viewers don't super love when I do magic content. They're more interested in watching me do uh, the 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 technical content. But I've always found magic mods to be cool because generally speaking, they tend to have a lot of fun progression and a lot of fun eye candy. Um, and if you're looking at my whale of tooltips right now, you might be seeing that I'm picking up sulfur from a mod called Railcraft Reborn. So spoiler alert, Railcraft is another one of those uh, mods that is back. Uh, somebody apparently got the permission to port or update or rewrite Railcraft. I'm not sure if it's, a, if it's an update from old versions or if it's a rewrite from scratch, but one way or another, uh, there is Railcraft in the pack. So that's pretty cool. So lots of rail crafty type things that I'm looking forward to checking out and see if we can't come up with some fun automations around trains and rails and all that stuff. So pretty neat. Uh, let's see, what else we got here? Um, I'm going through the list. Uh, blood magic, speaking of another magic mod. Uh, that's a classic. We always have blood magic in the pack because it's a fun mod. I mean, rituals and items and fun things to make, super cool. Um, Building Gadgets 2. If you haven't been following around uh, with, with, with my uh, Twitter and or Mod Spotlights on Building Gadgets 2, I rewrote Building Gadgets basically from scratch. Uh, basically from scratch. I mean, a lot, there's definitely some pieces of it that came over from the original Building Gadgets 1, but like I even rewrote a lot of them too because the old Building Gadgets 1 mod was a mess. Uh, it was my first ever mod. I didn't know what I was doing back then. Not saying that I know what I'm doing now when it comes to writing mods, but I even more didn't know what I was doing. Oh, yay, iron, uh, back in the day. So I should probably be using my hammer to mine this, by the way. Wouldn't that be, have been smart? I think that would have been smarter. What do we got down here? Is this rock salt from Growthcraft? Oh, that's cool. I don't have a ton of inventory space right now, but I guess it couldn't hurt to snag some. That's nifty. Uh, ooh, Zycraft stuff. <laughs> Zycraft is here. Speaking of uh, old mods that are back, and I think there's even like a reason for Zycraft to exist right now, which is also super hype. Very, very hype, actually. So let's get our way back up here. Um, do, 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 do. That works. And then we'll start. We'll start using. Uh, uh, is there an iron hammer? That's just iron. Yes, three iron, which happens to be exactly as much iron as I have. Though I should probably get an iron pick as well. Eh, you know, we'll figure it out. 
I'll probably start using my stone hammer. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. And then we'll 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 do the uh, the other stuff in a moment. That's that's a good time. I should get more uh, wood though. So yeah, uh, we've got building gadgets too. Whole new uh, rewrite from scratch. A lot of the functionality is there, uh, including some new stuff like the cut and paste gadget, which you know I'm personally very proud of. Uh, so yeah, it'll be it'll be cool to play with that for sure. So I'm just gonna. This is gonna be a miscellaneous junk chest until such time that I decide that I have you know the resources to do more than just throw everything in one chest. Cool. Is that fair? Okay, you go in there with some of that. That might be good. And I'm going to go cut down a couple more trees, even though it's nighttime. So I had planned on making a bed. Excuse me, sir. That was a lot, and that was really good. Thank you. I should make that bed and sleep. So you two, and then you guys can go in here. Oh, I need wood to make a bed, don't I? Yeah, I do. Uh, let's see, what else do we got? Like major mods in the pack. Charging gadgets, of course, because uh, that's another one of mine. Chisels and bits. Not something that I'm usually good at using because it's a very decorative building mod, but, you know, it's in the pack for those of you who like to build because that is not something that I'm good at. Uh, but yeah, super excited for that. Uh, CC Retweaked, which is the computer craft port. Uh, so those of you who like writing Lua code with uh, computer craft, totally there. Turtles and all that good stuff. Very cool. Uh, let's see, chisels and bits we talked about. Uh, we've got comforts, which gives you the, the the sleeping bags for sleeping while out in the world. And then also the uh, hammocks so that you can, uh, you know, let's get, actually, let's get you over here and then you can make the bed so that you can pass the day into night. Nope, I had a feeling that might not work. Can I make white wool with just one die? I can. So I happened to kill a skeleton five seconds ago. There you go. Ta-da! Respawn point set. May not rest now, monsters nearby. Boo! I hate that. Oh well, no worries. We're going back mining in a second anyway. Uh, so let's get an iron pick, actually. And then we'll go outside and plant this tree as well. Nice. Ooh, seeds. Uh, let's see, what else we got? We talked about comforts. Uh, connected glass is in the pack, so that's cool. A bunch of different connected glass options, which are always just nice for uh, building. Uh, construction wand. Uh, if you don't want to use building gadgets, there is the construction wand, which is a very cool mod. Very useful for building large amounts of things. Uh, cooking for blockheads is in there. Craft Tweaker, of course. Uh, create, because of course Create is in the pack. There's no way that Create wouldn't be in the pack. Because Create is such a cool mod. I'm not good at it, but it's a super cool mod. And I will I will definitely be doing some Create contraptions in this Let's Play series. There's no doubt about that, for sure. Oh, and I used up all my... All my stuff tonight. Let's look, let's explore this little uh, cavey type area, and maybe I can find some more iron or some coal. Either one of those would be cool. I wonder how horrible it is for you guys to see this right now. Hopefully not too bad, but I found coal. And yeah, I'm totally using. Oh, that is so nice. Just a simple hammer to start mining with is just a hundred percent the way to go. Um. Super good. Let's actually get this and that. Sweet. Now you can see what I'm doing again. Oh, hey, some crate stuff. Nice. Crimsonite. I might move. What's the hotkey for doing that? Uh, for 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 top. Isn't it top? Config. Hey, there we go. Uh, I like you up there. That's much better. That's that's my personal preference. You may have a different preference, and that's okay. Now, if I could find some iron in a similar vein like that, I could quickly get myself an iron hammer, and that would be cool. Uh, Kivy from Zycraft. Neat. 
Uh, so where were we on mod listing? Uh, craft Tweaker, create. Yes, definitely create. Uh, let's see. Cyclic is in the pack. Uh, that has all kinds of cool nifty stuff. Nickel from Railcraft, huh? I'll take it. Ooh, Deep Resonance is in the pack. We were probably going to get there soon anyway because we were, you know, in the seas. Where are we? Hey, there's some iron. That's what I would like to see. Nice. This will make building a base pretty easy because getting this with cobble all at once is... It's not bad getting a hammer in episode one. I'm just going to say that. For the equipment, not a diamond, far from perfect. I have no idea what I just picked up, but it gave me a lot of things. Oh, flawed gem of royal family. Okay, apotheosis gems. Nice, and a unique one at that. I think that's a really cool drop, actually. That is pretty cool. Zinc from Create. Oh my goodness, lots of resources here. I don't want to get too far off the beaten path because I am going to very easily get lost. I wasn't really paying attention to where I was going because I was half doing this. Uh, so Dark Utilities is in the pack along with, with Cyclic. Um, that's another, you know, common and cool one. Let's see. Did I get myself lost? I might be lost. I'm not entirely sure if I'm lost or not. Ooh, more coal. Thank you, Hammers Mod, for just, like, breaking dirt and not caring that the hammer is not a dirt breaker. Oh, there's the Deep Resonance Crystal. Now I know where I am. Now I know where I am. I'm no longer lost. That's nice. How'd I do for iron? Two. I need one more. One more iron, please. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. And then from here, I'm just going to start doing that. Ooh, much better. Oh, yes. That's the way to do it, for sure. Now, I'm going to be hitting my head as I go down here, but that's okay. Not a problem. Where was I? Uh, I was talking about other things that were in the pack. It might take more than an episode to go through all these, unless I just start rattling them off. Uh, Dungeons Arise uh, is in the pack. That adds, that adds some dungeons and stuff to it. Uh, let's see. We've got... Ender chests, of course. Ender IO. I spoiled that a little bit in the beginning of the episode, but yeah, Ender IO is in the pack. How how cool is that? Ender IO has been. I don't. I think it was recreated from scratch. Uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I'm pretty sure. And uh, that's super exciting, honestly. Just to have Ender IO back is really really nice. Um, so like, I think most of the features are there. I didn't see the armor, so I don't want to say all the features are there, but a lot of the features are there. Um, if we take a look in here, we'll see a bunch of Ender.io type stuff. Let's get six stones so we can get that, and then we'll quickly rattle off stuff while we're waiting. Entangled, which is the, uh, is, is the Entangled block mod. Remember this guy? Yeah. Super useful for stuff. Um, Ender Tanks is in the pack. Experience Obelisk. Extra Storage. I think just adds, uh, some more storage stuff for refined storage. That's pretty cool. Extreme Reactors 2 uh, for those power generating needs. Very nice. Uh, the Sound Muffler mod, because of course. And uh, obviously Curios is in there as well. So you've got a nice whole Curios. Curios has like a whole tab here now, which is neat. There's also this Attributes tab, and I don't know which mod is adding that. But pretty nice. No complaints. Um, so we've got uh, the Sound Muffler, we've got uh, Farmer's Delight, Farming for Blockheads, Fast Furnace. Uh, we've got the Find Me mod, which I think lets you search inventories. Like if you hit Y over an item, it'll show you, uh, you know, which inv inventories it had cobblestone a second ago. So that's nifty. Um, cool. Now I should be able to get my hammer back. I'm going to get two of them this time. Sweet. And then you're with me, friends. Not bad. And once I find more iron, which I totally just did, by the way. I forget what Crimsonite's for, but it's for something. It's one of those create things that if you process it right, you can get like a bunch of cool resources. But I'm going to smelt up this iron now. Uh, I should only need one of you, actually. And we'll talk about more stuff. Uh, let's see. Flat Bedrock, Flower Patch. I'm not sure what that is, but Flux Networks is in the pack. So we definitely get Flux Networks. It looks like Solar Flux Reborn as well. So if you want to get some solar power gen, 
totally a thing you can do. Forbidden and Arcanus. That's one of those uh, magic mods, which looks pretty cool. I've played with this before, and it seems like some new content and features have been added. So that's neat. Uh, framed blocks, which I think is also a good one. I think this is the type of thing where you can like have all kinds of different shapes in the world, and then you can just click with the block and it'll take on that texture. So like you, it can look like cobblestone, it can look like wood, it can look like whatever. Uh, so framed blocks is neat. Uh, for sure. Again, another like good for builders type mod. Uh, a bunch of the FTB stuff, right? Like FTB utils and all that. Good, good, good time things. Uh, functional storage, which is the, the drawers mod. Definitely a good one. Growth craft, which I have to take a look at. Um, pretty cool. Looks like it has some uh, neat types of food options if you want to go down that route. So growth craft. Uh, the, the hammer mod that we already saw. So there's a bunch of different types of hammers. You can get up to a five by five by five area of mining, but you need some significant stuff to get to get that good. Um, you know, lots of diamonds and whatnot. We'll see. We'll see if we go that route because we might jump into mining gadgets because of course that's also in the pack. All right, so let's get an iron hammer actually. Um, we'll just get one iron hammer. Now what's, what's an impact hammer? That's gonna require one of these guys and a lot more iron. So yeah, we're just gonna go with a basic iron hammer for now. No need to go too crazy. And out of curiosity, I'm pretty sure we have uh, storage. What's it called? It's like something something storage. Uh, pocket, pocket storage? Hey, there we go, found it. So that's just gonna need a chest and some pistons. So we're gonna need some redstone, but then we can get pocket storage going. That would be very nice for all this cobble we're about to be collecting from our hammers. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'll probably, before I, uh, between episodes, I'll, I'll make this this walkway down. I always like to get down to Y level, what is it, negative 64 now, just so I can start doing some good mining. Sweet, we're down at a decent level now. Okay, uh, where are we at? Growth craft we talked about in the hammers. Uh, hole filler mod looks really cool. Uh, this looks like it just fills in holes. So like specifically when a creeper blows up your dirt, it'll fill it in with dirt. And I think, I'm assuming it's a config option, but like free dirt is true and it's super easy to craft. So that's kind of cool. Now it's a one-time use, uh, but like if a, if a creeper blows up some dirt, it'll, you know, it'll go ahead and, and fill it in for you, which is neat. I'm all about it. Very, very cool. So hole filler, and then there's like other hole fillers, choice and smart, I don't know the differences. There's water, there's lava, there's light. I'm pretty sure none of these things are free, like the dirt one is, but pretty cool looking mod, and I would definitely want to play with it. Hyperbox is another cool looking one. It looks like compact machines, basically. Um, it, it basically creates its own dimension and it gives you like a little box and then there's like you can pipe stuff in and out of it uh, So it looks very much like compact machines if you've seen that before if not you'll learn what hyperbox is in the future uh, There's a mod called I fly which I don't know what it's about, but it adds this thing and that makes this so I don't know I Don't know, but I guess we'll find out because it looks cool All right, we're about to break Y level zero, which is neato we're gonna keep going. Uh, industrial foregoing, standard in the Direwolf 20 pack at almost all times. So no surprise there that it's in the pack. Uh, let's void some stuff. I don't think I need Crimsonite really. Um, it can be decorative and it can kind of get iron if you get into create. I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, and then all of you guys can probably void. I kind of want to hang on to my cobblestone at the moment just because I know I'm gonna want cobblestone but I'm gonna avoid some of the other junk that we don't need just to avoid inventory mess. And also, you know, items laying on the ground. But getting to a nice, you know, down in the ground mining area just so we can start getting some resources will be nice. Cool. Uh, so industrial foregoing, we talked about integrated dynamics and all the integrated mods. So another like really, really useful mod if you wanna get into like super complex automation. That's one of those mods where like, if you want to do something really complicated, you can do it with that mod. Almost, almost guaranteed. Like, there's almost nothing that mod can't do, which is super, super fun. Um, it's a complex mod to use for sure. So, like, you wouldn't want to use it just for, like, everyday stuff. But, you know, if, if you want to do something that's, like, not easy, yeah, trust me, that mod is for you. No doubt. 
And yeah, I got my redstone. Is that all I needed for, let's see, I might have what I need for pocket storage now. Uh, pocket storage, can I snag one of those? So can I get a couple of you, one, two, and then I might need a little bit more iron and a chest. Cool. I've got more iron yet or no? I don't think I've found more iron yet. So we're gonna have to wait until we get a little, like one more iron and then we'll be good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. There's uh, inventory sorters. Iron chests are, of course, in the pack because that's a staple. Always going to have iron chests in the pack for sure, uh, assuming it's uh, regularly updated. But then also iron furnaces, which is cool. So if we look at at iron, we'll see there's iron chests, but also iron furnaces, which are a fun way to get like really quick furnace cooking. Uh, and then also for iron, there's iron jetpacks, uh, which I'm not seeing it at iron, but at jetpacks we should see. Uh, yes. Maybe there's something funny with iron jetpacks because I don't see the actual jetpacks themselves in JEI, but, uh, yeah, iron jetpacks is in the pack. Like I said, I'm playing on a beta version of the pack, so hopefully these, uh, if there is a bug or two like that, we will have them sorted by the time the pack's released. So iron jetpacks will, uh, be there soon. So I'm just gonna go actually report that right now. Iron jetpacks equals derped. Cool. Uh, where are we at on the mods list here? So uh, we've got item collectors, which is a really cool way to get lots of item pickup automatically. That's a that's a that's a classic one. Uh, just another mining dimension. Just another void dimension. Um, JEI, of course, which you see, you know, JEI is obviously there. Pretty cool. All right, get into a nice little cave here, which is nice. Nice, 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 nice. Let's clear that out. Boop, ba -doop, boop, ba -doop, boop. Okay, perfect. Oh man, look at all this cool stuff. Not a bad place. I want to keep going to like my, you know, deep down Y level, but also mobs. <laughs> Uh, so let's see, just enough resources, just hammers, which is the hammer mod that I've been using here, just hammers, uh, is pretty cool. I got you, zombie. I got nothing on the dire. Lots of zombies today, huh? Hey, I'm trying to talk about what mods are in my mod pack, friends. Can we stop swarming me so much? Maybe? Hey, I lost soul. That's cool. And this bat just really wants to get hit by my sword every time I swing it. That bat's like, sign me up. I should have some food down here ready to eat. Alright. If I keep this area lit enough, hopefully it won't be too terrible. Cool. Uh, yeah, let's do like this. That seems like a cool way to go. Perfect. What do we got here? Oh, mechanism stuff. Yeah, obviously mechanisms in the back, right? That shouldn't be a surprise. Ender's Cataclysm, which looks like a add-on to the end. Um, laser IO, because of course it is. And Laser IO got some really cool updates, specifically um, the advanced laser connector, uh, whose recipe will be changed by the time the pack comes out, because I felt like another star was too expensive for that. Uh, but that thing lets you do interdimensional laser IO stuff. So you can have infinite range and interdimensional and, and super good. So uh, excited for you guys to have that guy and play with it. Um, you know, I always intended that. There's actually a couple other things I'd like to also have in Laser IO at some point, uh, but interdimensional was a thing that I definitely wanted to let you do. So that's cool. Um, you know, some people say it's overpowered, but hey, guess what? Tesseract is also in the pack, and that lets you do uh, interdimensional items, fluids, and energy, and that doesn't have a cost. So, you know what? I think we're past the point where transmitting items 
and fluids across dimensions has some kind of cost associated with it. Because there's also ender tanks and ender storage and all that stuff. Like, there's enough ways to transfer items between dimensions. I feel like if I made Laser.io, like, cost something in order to send items and fluids across dimensions, people would just be like, ah, I'll just use one of the other mods that's free. And at that point, you know. All good. So are we actually, like, bedrocky time? Ooh, bedrocky time. Nice. Oh, and diamonds. Hooray, diamonds. Cheap and get diamonds. I'm liking this. Not too shabby. All right. Uh, so what else we got here? I don't know, long list. I think we're getting towards the end of the episode, though. So how about we do this? I'm going to wrap up the episode here. I'm going to head home, deposit all my junk, and we'll come back next episode. I'll probably do a little bit of more of uh, house prep and, and, and mining. We'll talk about the other half of the mods in the pack because I only got to about halfway through the list. Um, I got I got to the L's, so we're about halfway through the mod list. I told you there's a lot in this pack, like a real lot. Um, and then I'll probably also make it so that I'm not hitting my head every time I go up the stairs. I might even make some actual steps to go up and down. We'll see. For now, Dell 20 sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, we'll come back next time and uh, get started probably doing a little bit of tech and ore processing. Probably, you know, a whole lot of good stuff. For now, take it easy.